Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my August slash summer favorites. I decided to kind of mix these together because I really didn't have too many August favorites per se that I really have been enjoying. I kind of keep grabbing the same things over and over that I have really been enjoying this summer. So I wanted to share what I have for you guys today. But first, if you're new to my channel, welcome to the family. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you do like it. And let's get on with our favorites. Now I forgot to mention this to you guys in my uh, therapy session tutorial, but I wanted to let you guys know that I did get a new P.O. box. I also mentioned in that video that I was doing a makeup blog sale and that's why I opened up my P.O. box. So I will have it down in the description box just in case if you guys want to be pen pals and just write letters to each other. I love, love getting to know you guys personally. So if that's something that interests you, I do have a P.O. box finally. Also, I do have my makeup blog sale. I think that if... Um, things don't move on there, I'm going to move it to Poshmark. So I'll give you guys any details about that in the future so you guys um, are well aware of it or if you are interested to go through that website, I'll do, I'll put my stuff on there just to sell it because I am embarrassed to say that I just suck at this stuff. I suck at Q&As, I suck at selling stuff, I don't I guess it's just not that much engagement in it as far as for me, so I'm just having a little hard time with it, but I'm trying. I really am trying. I hope you guys had a great month of August. I hope you guys had a great summer. My summer went super fast. We did do a lot, um, but there was also a lot of changes in our personal lives, so um, we didn't get to do as much as we wanted, but that's okay. The summer wasn't as hot as normal summers either. Normally, it's like hot all the time, and it is cold. It is cold, it is cold, it is cold. By the time you guys see this video, it'll probably be in the low 70s, raining, it's bad. And it is horrible what is happening in Texas. It is really breaking my heart. And I am actually uh, grabbing a lot of things to try to send down there. Um, I went through all the kids' clothing. I'm sending diapers, anything that I can possibly. Uh, there are some local charities here in my area that are going to take the drive down, so I'm going to go ahead and do that so I can help out in any way in any way that I can. Obviously, after that long intro, you guys are probably like, all right, Alex, I just want you to get to your favorites. So let's get on with the favorites. First and foremost, in all honesty, I have been using this palette all month long, and this is one of my favorites for the month. It's the Anastasia Subculture Palette. If you didn't see my therapy session tutorial, go check it out because literally the first 17 minutes is me talking about this palette. I give you all the good, the bad, and the ugly of the palette. I'm actually showing you how to use it, how I use it, what I've been doing, what I would suggest to do, who I would recommend it to. Everything you can think of I have mentioned in that video, so I will not go into this video about it. I do not want any more controversial things or drama. I, I just, no. But I just want to let you guys know that in all honesty, that's the palette I've been using all month. I have been loving it. I have been enjoying it. It's a, a win for me. So it is what it is, basically. Two products that I really have been enjoying this summer are both from It Cosmetics. It's my It Cosmetics CC your Skin But Better CC Cream. This is a medium. They just recently came out with medium tan, which I feel will be a better suit for me during the summer. This is a little bit light still for me, as you guys can tell. Um, but once I'm done with this one next year, I will purchase the medium tan. Not this year. I want to finish this one up. But I have been mixing it with the Your Skin But Better CC Plus bronzer. You guys have heard me talk about this bronzer, how much I absolutely love this bronzer. Mixed with any foundation, especially in the summer, it gives you that really nice glowy skin. It, these are what I am wearing today on my face. I do not use a beauty blender with with these this is one of those exceptions that I don't use my beauty or a beauty sponge with I should say um, <clears throat> because I do want to take full advantage of all of the um, skincare ingredients in it so I do use a brush or I use my fingers with these I mix them together I do half and half half of a pump half of a pump mix it together and just spread it around my face and it's still my skin is still seeing through so that's what I love about it 
It has SPF 50. You guys know I've been raving about these. These definitely are something that I go to every single summer. I bought this last year, last summer, with the intention of using it. And this I've been using since last summer. And I absolutely love both and would highly recommend them. I have two um, sunscreens that I've been using all summer long and I'm going to continue to use them until I'm officially done with them. The first one is a drugstore one. This is a Neutrogena Sheer Zinc Dry Touch Sunscreen Broadband uh, Spectrum 50. It's pure screen 100% zinc oxide UVA UVE. Um, UVB, it's hypoallergenic, water resistant for 80 minutes. This was new to the line this year. I picked this one up because it has 21.6% of zinc oxide in it. So basically you're going to get a white cast with this, but I only use this when I'm wearing absolutely no makeup and do not care to have any type of coverage at all whatsoever. I'm either going in the pool, I'm going to the beach, I'm just going to run errands and I do not want anything else but my serums and sunscreen. So this is what I've been wearing. This one is not as thick as other ones that I have tried. Um, a little bit goes a long way, you guys. You do not need a lot of this product because you will get that super white looking ghostly face on your skin and you will look funny because I have been made fun of because of this because Mr. Man has like what are you doing to your face but you only need like a pea size of it to do your full entire face this is more of a drier formula so it's good for me since I have oily skin I feel like it does last Neutrogen, Neutrogena I don't know why I can't say it never breaks me out so I never have a, an issue with any of Neutrogena's products breaking me out especially the face products I've been using their sunscreen for years I really do like this for on the go if I'm running if I am doing something outside that doesn't involve any type of makeup I go with this one and this is what I've been using and this is what I will be continuing to use now if I want a little bit of coverage and <clears throat> I still want the benefits of having a sunscreen this was recommended by Kristen Game here on YouTube. I'll link her channel down below. She mentioned she loved this. I literally went that same week and purchased it. I am a fan of It Cosmetics. You guys know I've been saying this for a long time. This is new to their line. It is their It Cosmetics Anti-Aging Armor Super Smart Skin Perfecting Beauty Fluid SPF 50 plus UVA UVB. This is a physical sunscreen. It has 12% of, of titanium oxide and 6% of zinc oxide. So obviously this is gonna give you a white cast again. The benefits to this is that you are still getting um, anti-aging properties in it. So basically you're getting all the benefits of, a, of um, skincare but with SPF basically in it. Um, it kind of reminds me of the Your Skin But Better but this is truly a sunscreen this is a tinted sunscreen as you guys can see um, I can go a little bit more lightly with it like heavier with this because it does give me coverage it doesn't give me full-on coverage it gives you more like a um, tinted uh, moisturizer kind of coverage but it still covers something I still feel like I am being um, sort of covered so if I want to look presentable but don't have the time to do makeup I'll use this I'll put this all over my face I get the SPF I get some sort of coverage where I get a little bit of redness mainly here in the summertime always my freckles come out like crazy and um, in the winter time if the wind is blowing very very harsh and cold I do get the redness on my cheeks as well so it does kind of camouflage it a little bit it's not full coverage but it is a beautiful product I love it this is a runnier type of formula this one does not go anywhere like you blob it on your finger and it'll sit there but this one but it's not moussey but this one is a lot runnier so you do have to shake it. it does have a ball in here you do have to shake it you pour it out and it will run like a like water so you just play I use this with my fingers it's great I love it this is something that I will probably have always in my collection depending on what I want to do for that day this is what I've been going for the whole entire summer two more products I promise you guys I'm telling you this is a very very short and sweet to the point because I didn't really do too much this summer as far as my makeup goes I just 
stuck to what I wanted to use up or love basically and just tested out things here and there. So the next thing I have been using is my Pure Cosmetics Golden Age um, Shadow Stick. This is one of my oldest shadow sticks in my collection. It was duo. I finished this side completely so I have nothing there. That was a brown liner. And I have been using this side right here to use as a shadow base for my eyeshadows. Whenever I just want something quick to the point, this is what I have been using. It is very, very creamy. It blends out like a dream. It doesn't set right away. So I can blend this out and I feel like I can get something out of it. It doesn't completely sheer out, but I cannot wear this on its own. But I have been using this as its as a base for some eyeshadows just to make my eyeshadows last longer. I love the color of this. This is one of my favorite colors. I've been using this in my waterline and it stays beautifully in my waterline. I have honestly noticed that shadow sticks last so much better on my waterline than a traditional eyeliner does. So this I've been using on my waterline just to kind of give me that awakening um, type of look but with some sort of pop of color where it's not so vibrant like my shirt. Love this. I'm just going to continue to use this up because it is one of my oldest ones in my collection. This still has Pure Minerals as their actual name. They're no longer Pure Minerals. They're now Pure Cosmetics. But I love that shadow stick and I've been using it all summer long. Last but not least, it is a lip pencil. I could not put this down all summer long. I really did try to do something else, but it just works so beautifully with my skin tone right now that I am darker. This is the Avon Ultra Luxury Lip Liner in Neutral. This is the most simple, most basic lip liner you will find on the market. I don't even know if they make this anymore in all honesty, and I'm pretty sure this cost me $1. This is the color of it. It just fits me so nice now with my skin tone. I absolutely love this color. It goes with every single lip product that I have used all summer long. I fill my lips with it. I line my lips with it. I contour with it. Everything you could think of, I love this lip liner. It's just been my go-to all summer long. I recently just decluttered a bunch of my eyeliners and lip liners and I found that I had a backup of this. So I'm very, very excited because I do want to use this since it is an older product, but I love the color. It has been definitely one of my favorites. I feel like I notice that anything neutral, natural, I love. I love those better than those pinky nude lip liners. So I've learned that about myself and that's a good thing because I will no longer be purchasing those pinky nudes. So that is it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry for the long intro, but I had to throw those in there for you guys before I've forgotten. I will catch you guys in my next video. And don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Bye guys.